All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 8 is equal to 25 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite this as x to the power of 4 times 2 is equal to 25 squared. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 times 2 is equal to x to the power of 4 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 25 squared. Now I'm going to subtract 25 squared on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x to the power of 4 to the power of 2 minus 25 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And before we actually do this, I'm actually going to take the square root on both sides so I can cancel these twos out. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as x squared to the power of 2 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. So now I can use the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b on this. So this turns into x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So I get two equations, x squared plus 5 equals 0 and x squared minus 5 equals 0. So for x squared minus 5 equals 0, I get x squared equals 5. If I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5. Now for x squared plus 5 equals 0, I can subtract 5 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 5. If I take the square root, I get x is equal to the square root of negative 5, which is equal to the square root of 5i. So these are my four solutions to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm going to use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y. So this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as 7 times, or sorry, not 7, 49 times 1. 49 is equal to 49 times 1, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as 7 times 7. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7, as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, time, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form another, a number times a number. So and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50 and if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get a is equal to 25. Now that we know that a is equal to 25, remember how 
we said that a plus b is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus b is equal to 49 and b is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So a equals 25 and b equals 24.